Good day students, in this class we will learn how to create an APP to handle cosine rule problems. Now on the screen you can clearly see there is a cosine rule question. Now you have a triangle and you've been given a side 7.1 and then a side 6.5 and the angle between the side it's given to be as 32 degrees and we are expected to find the unknown side. Now using cosine rule we would be able to not only find the side we would also be able to find the angles the missing angles. So foremost what we are going to be doing is we will implement a JavaScript code to handle the missing side. Now clearly you can see this is the formula used a squared is equal to b squared positive c squared negative 2 times b into c into cos of a. Now this formula when we are coding it doesn't matter all we need is to just add this uh, system that you see here. The variables that are mentioned here a, b, c they are interchangeable. So we wouldn't be much affected but mathematically if you are doing it is actually imperative to follow the system that is being indicated here. And finally we are getting the missing side to be as 3.79 centimeters since everything is given in centimeters. So we will exactly translate this algorithm that you see here into the JavaScript APP. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the VS Code environment. And you can clearly see that I have added the folder cosine rule there. And I have created a folder JS and then I have also created an index file. So go to the indexed file then place an exclamatory mark and press tab you get that boilerplate change the title that's imperative so I'm going to state here as cosine rule app and in body I'm going to give a simple script script src is equal to js slash I'm going to write it like this and then take this file name. Copy it. Of course, control S, save this environment or I would say save the code here and go to the JS folder, create a new file. The copied file is pasted here. Then you click enter. So you got that JavaScript file that you would be working on. So foremost, I'm going to give some documentations over here for the user to be able to read what is or I would say understand what is exactly happening. So this is what we are going to be writing in documentation. Foremost we need the first side. So get it from the user. So I'm going to give a variable as known side one is equal to we need to convert it into integer prompt is into the first known side it can be anything it can be a or b or c doesn't matter we will just mention it as first known side so I'm going to copy this off and paste it and I will just change the variable this is going to be the side 2 and then we need now the angle between the sides so let angle between sides is equal to percent Prompt is enter the angle between the sides. So the user will give us the angle. Now what we need to do is we will have to convert the angle to radians. So for that, let me create a variable. Let angle to radians. 
is equal to I'm going to use this built-in function math dot pi divided by 180 and then I will multiply the angle between these sides make sure to place the parenthesis so the degrees are converted into the radian measure so what I will do here is I just say degrees to radians if you want you can display it if not it's fine so if you wanted to display this is how we display it you can display the converted degrees in this fashion so I will say document dot write and give a break and a s3 tag given degrees is equal to this is what is being given and then in radius given degrees in radius so we are converting it so I'm going to take this variable out and then I will say degrees to radians okay so that is already got now just to show you how it works refresh it so okay please enter the first known side that is 6.5 second side is 7 units please enter the angle between the sides is 32 units so clearly as you can see that given degrees is 32 given degrees in radian measure is this now if you want you can remove the significance or I would say just restrict it to two digit significance but that is not the contention of this question so let us go back so now what you need to do is we have to get the cosine value of this radial measure okay so for that I'm going to create a variable let like cosine value is equal to math.cos of the radians that you have got degrees to radians that is fine so if you want this also to be printed you can you can get it printed so I'm just going to copy this and say cos of the degrees that are being given so I'm going to say angle between the sides right you can just make it a little bit attractive so this is equal to the cosine value okay so if you were to go back and refresh it please enter the first known side 6.5 second side is 7 the angle between them is 32 so clearly you can say cos of 32 now you see that there isn't a degree there you can bring that degree also over here so let me show that how we can add a, we can add a tag here in fact we can add a tag here SUP and then you can put that O there and then change this to SUP okay so this would actually give us that all important uh, that O degree that O symbol on the cost now to be on the safer side what I want to do is let me just save it and run it and okay so 6 7 32 okay you see that that's beautiful so we've got that I need to get the final side so 
So this is how we calculate the final size which is required. So create a variable let unknown side is equal to so known side multiplied with known side that's a formula replace it in parenthesis and then known side 2 multiplied with known side 2 that's the second one then you will have to continue with the cosine form so negative 2 times of known side you got to place the product sign there known side and then you will have to multiply it with let me just move this off the cosine value that's it okay so all of these things should be in a parenthesis so this is actually is producing the square value let us get the sides displayed so I will say document dot write and I will say given side is equal to the known side that has been received and I will also say square value is equal to this value will be displayed so the user keeps track of what is exactly happening so given probably I will say given side 1 you are given side 2 this is going to be known side 2 and okay now to give some formatting what you do is put a break there then HR tag just copy that you don't have to keep uh, entering those things again so that's fine now you also need to get this value displayed okay so I will just copy this value also and I will display it here that is equal to the value that we have calculated so that looks fine there aren't any issues so place a semicolon and move on so over here you just put a br tag and a h3 tag right now let me get the output this will be the square value so document dot write I'm going to state it like this this is the unknown side so I will put it or I will say I will just place it as X and then a comma and a equal to to have a better presentation and this is going to be the side that we have calculated okay now display the actual side without the square so that would mean we need to apply the square root there so i'll say document dot write so x is equal to call in the math dot square root function and send in the value that we have calculated the unknown side so that will take care of it uh, just place in the break tag there the br and the h3 tag so that you get a better formatting so that is the end of the code so enter the first side 6.5 second side 7 angle between them is 32 now this is received this is converted 
and we have got the cos of this the side one is watch here this is what I wanted to see you all now we gave the value as 6.1 or I would say 6.5 but we are getting 36 why because of the fact that we have used the let me show you we have used this parcent now that is the reason we will have so we need to do some uh, alteration over there now that is because we did not close this tag here okay so I have closed the tag so first known side is 6.5 it is 7 angle between them is 32 and okay this looks good this is what we wanted so as I was mentioning the the reason that I got this displayed because you will be in a better position to understand what is happening right so this value is got here and the square of the first side square of the second side the problem that we are encountering is square of the first side because we gave 6.5 and it is taking it as 6 and I told you the reason now if you were to compare it with the output now this is the output see that according to the algorithm we need to get 3.79 but we are not getting 3.79 the reason we are not getting 3.79 is because of the fact that we have used parcent now we are getting 3.70 we are not getting 3.79 but this could very well be changed now how do we change it just go over here so instead of saying parcent you say parse float there okay you say parse float and everything would be under control so the first known side is 6.5 enter the second side 7.1 the angle between them is 32 you get the first side 42.25 second side 50.41 and this is x squared value and this is the final value 3.79 now let me compare to the algorithm that I showed you you see that 3.79 and this is the x value 14.38 so let me go back 14.38 you see that so if in the code instead of using pass load if you were to use pass in you're not going to get the accurate result so you need to exercise caution so this is a lovely code and we have obtained the result efficiently and accurately. Thank you students. Please like, share and subscribe.